These videos are meant to be used in conjunction with formal in-person photographer training and should not be used as a primary resource in the training of proper use of retinal cameras. This video may be used freely for nonprofit educational purposes with the expressed acknowledgement of the University of California, Berkeley. Use for any other purpose requires written consent from the UC Berkeley Optometric Eye Center. This video is copyrighted by the UC Berkeley School of Optometry 2012. As reviewed in the small pupil troubleshooting video, there are three required elements that must be obtained in at least one photo from each eye. To ensure that all of these elements have been captured, it is insufficient to view the thumb images on the screen on the back of the retinal camera. You must zoom in on different portions of each photo to verify that good focus has been achieved and that the macula is not obscured by small pupil artifacts. The retinal camera that you are using will have the same functionalities as shown here. However, locations of the different buttons and functions will be different for each camera. If the retinal camera interface is different than the one shown here, please consult your manual or contact your camera manufacturer for instructions on how to review photos on the retinal camera itself. To view retinal images on the LCD screen, press the play button on the lower left hand corner which will bring up the last photo taken. To zoom in on various portions of the photo, use the zoom in and out buttons in the upper right hand corner of the camera back. You will also need to scroll around the image after zooming in as shown here. To reset the zoom, press the play button again. To determine accurate focus on external photos, you must zoom in on iris details. In this example, the zoomed out view appears to be in good focus. As we zoom in and recenter the photo, we can see that the details of the iris can clearly be seen. In this next example, the iris appears focused in the zoomed out view. However, after zooming in and recentering the photo, you can see that the iris details are quite out of focus, which is not optimal. For verifying focus in internal photos, the best landmarks to use are the retinal blood vessels. In this example, the zoomed out view appears to be in good focus, which is verified by zooming in and recentering the photo on the arteries and veins on the bottom portion of the picture. Note that the edges of the vessels are sharp and distinct, which is the best indication of good focus. In our next internal field example, the photo appears to be in good focus in the zoomed out view. However, upon closer examination by zooming in and recentering the photo, you can see that the vessels are quite out of focus. To ensure that the macula is not obscured by small pupil artifacts, you must zoom in on the macular area. In this example, there appears to be a dark shadow over the macula in the zoomed out view. This is verified by zooming in and centering over the macula which shows a dark shadow. Our next example illustrates how the small pupil artifact appears to obscure the macula in the zoomed out view. However, upon zooming in, you can see that the shadow is actually below and to the left of the macular area, which is adequately illuminated. If you have any questions about any of the procedures shown in this video, please contact UC Berkeley Digital Health or IPACS.